this right here is probably the vulgar part. Okay. Yep, that was it, yelling at his brother. <laughs> There's just so many great stories about Chris, but mainly I would just tell you about just how much of a great personality he had. <laughs> My son got the call. He ran into the room. He said, Mama, 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 get up, get the phone. Chris has been shot. And he was just screaming in tears. He said, Mom, you've got to get to the hospital now. Chris has been shot. He's in the intensive care unit. The doctor just said, um, you know, we're sorry to tell you, but, you know, your son was brought in with multiple gunshot wounds, and he lost a lot of blood, and he um, did not make it. We had to wait till we got him sent to the funeral home after they had done the autopsy. And literally, the funeral home brought him out of the freezer, still in the body bag, and just unzipped his head and said, don't look any further because you don't want to look at it. And that was the worst thing ever. The person accused of uh, shooting Allen was named Carlos Olguin. Olguin had a history of gun arrests, including uh, three charges of assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill. But the felony charges were dismissed. In early 2017, he was able to buy a gun. In my mind, I always think about what could have been done differently, you know, and ultimately it keeps coming back to the fact that it was not that it happened, but that it was allowed to happen. Oakland had a history of gun arrests dating back to 2011. Uh, police say he was involved in a shootout that year, and then the following year he was charged with two more gun charges, but uh, all those charges were dismissed. If you punish people appropriately, they're less likely, maybe, to commit crimes later. It's like with your own children. You know, if you let them get away with sneaking out every night of the week, they're just going to think they can do it and there's not going to be any consequences. More than two years after the incident, Olguin is still awaiting trial. Meanwhile, Alan's family is asking why he got so many chances. He, he never met a stranger and I just know in my heart that if he was not killed that night, even with the people he was in that physical altercation with, I think at the end of the night, they probably would have sat down and shook hands and become best friends. That's the type of person he was.